welcome back to Dr. Wehezel's weekly review of Doctor Who. And we start out with Asylum of the Daleks. You don't have to be genocidally insane to work here, but it helps. Oh, Doctor. Now, I really like that opening shop on Scaro with the statue extermination, but all the more so I like the new take on the Dalek human hybrids. Ah oh, yes, although I have a big fear they might turn into this season's flesh. Oh no, looks like they were a Dalek agent all along as well and have a big eye stalk in their forehead. Oh, they like the return of Rory, especially the way he fell down the teleport you wee! Ah, uh, but they didn't like him not being with sexy Amy. That was just wrong! Oh, come on then, dear. We remembered how much we meant to each other at the end, and we managed to survive, thanks to the power of love! Oh, uh, oh. Doctor? Oh, yeah, sorry, that's my preemptive saving the day through love alarm. It's my least favourite trope in the show. Well, uh, after River Mary Sue Song saving the day. Speaking of which, I've decided this season I'll be deducting one point off the review score for each River Song reference. So, uh, no points lost this week then. Oh, jolly good then. Might I interject a consideration? Ah, uh, yes, so Dalek Pizza Supreme? I enjoyed the appearance of the Parliament of Daleks and the revelation of our Prime Minister. As hideous in appearance as your leader, Thatcher. Uh, not my leader, but you know, I can see what he means. There was a close resemblance in both appearance and policy. Ha <laughs> ha! Now, I am also glad to see the new Paradigm Daleks are just part of the crowd, and as all the rest of the Daleks are the better looking ones. Um, by the way, are we going to talk about pond life as well, Doctor? I know that wasn't part of the episode, but it did lead into it. I suppose we could. I mean, I thought it was okay. I mean, there was a sudden jump from Ood-based sitcom to unexplained Rory and Amy breakup. Um, still, that bit with the Doctor, Marta Hari, and that toasting fork brought the real chuckle to my time weasel guts. If only they had used a swanny whistle. It would have been perfect. Oh, when you're right, Mr. Pond, you're right. Back to the main episode. I liked the horror film vibe that ran throughout. It felt a bit like Cube, with Rory going through the claustrophobic corridors with half-aware Daleks, Amy slowly losing her marbles, and the Doctor worrying about the lack of milk for souffles. Oh yes, you just knew that was going to be significant for Oswin, that and the Daleks' sudden egg obsession. Exactly right, my dear Miss Pond. The Dalek race are an example to all. Oi! If anyone gets to do lousy puns, especially about eggs, it'll be me. Oh, eggs, why can't you be my new companion? Oh, lovely eggs suddenly appear. Every time I drink beer, just like me. And Dr. Weasel. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry, Amy. I got lost in the vortex thinking about all the eggs I once knew or might know again. The review, Doctor? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, the review. Well, the big reveal, which, you know, let's face it, I had guessed about halfway through that Oswin was living in a Dalek head. That was quite good. But the biggest shock was when I realised she was in the cast list and she's the new companion. Oh, my, I didn't realise that at all. New companion? What's going on, Doctor? I thought Rory and I were staring with you forever. Oh. Rory has a six-year contract. Just put down payment on your house. Is Rory getting the boot? No! And now look what you've done. You've upset him. It would take ages to calm him down now. Ah, oh, look, it's all Oswin's fault. She made me forget not to spoil things for you. Now, she could just wipe my memory of canine in company. <laughs> Oh, and, and speaking of spoiling things, I'm not convinced by this different series logo we're getting each episode. I mean, the Dalek studied one this week did nothing for me at all. Hey, yes, and also you, you appear to have repainted your TARDIS with more mahogany and a lot of new green lights. Yeah, 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 yeah. well, look, I had 200 years to kill between seasons. I got hooked on changing console rooms, and then got that handy Andy fellow in with his sonic drill. Enough trivial prattle, Dr. Wahizal. The Dalek race demands to know the oncoming score for this episode. Ah, oh, certainly. 
This season, I'll be using the companion rating scale. From a dire Adric, all right through to a glorious Donna. Um, what does River Song represent then? Zero or lower? Anyway, this week's tale gets a big, solid Sarah Jane Smith. Nicely done and dusted in one, but a great big fat question mark left over the future companion's fate. It lost marks for breaking Rory and Amy up, just for the sake of putting them back together again. And frankly, if all the trials and tribulations I've been through so far aren't enough to bond them from all time, nothing is going to be good enough for them. But come on, wiping the Daleks' memory of the Doctor and getting them to ask their vital question, Doctor Who, was a great ending. Oh yes, Amy, I felt a tingle in all eleven of my time nipples. Oh, oh yes! Doctor, TMI, TMI! Oh, okay, okay. Of course, this does leave me with a great idea for a spin-off series. I've been having terrible panic attacks, darling Melfi. What do you do for a living? Is it stressful? I work in waste management. Clearly, we can trace it all back to your mother. Your mother. Your mother. She is dead to me. Ah, uh, maybe not. Okay, next time, dinosaurs on a mother-loving spaceship. And you know, I think someone here is really looking forward to this. Sorry, I thought you'd finish with me. Call me back after Christmas. No, 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 not you, Diana Ross. I meant Rory. Dinosaurs! 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 Oh, Rory is so excited, he may leave a little puddle again on the Helmic Ridiculators. So that's what kept happening to their contacts. You dirty, dirty plastic dinosaur.